Hey folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Deep Live, how to keep the NSA from hearing your conversations. Google Glass will get you arrested. Would you live inside the Enterprise? T-Mobile is at it again. And I got a dog. It all starts now. to Geek Beat Live. Welcome back to another round of punishment for yet another <laughs> week of Geek Beat Live. I can't believe you guys come back week Why after week. Why are you watching? Hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. We love you though. Thank you for coming <laughs> back. What is this episode number one? 122. 122? They yeah. let us put this on TV a <laughs> hundred times? More than. So you guys, wow. <laughs> because it is episode 122, not really because, but you guys can go to geekbeat.tv slash live 122 to see all the notes. Uh, ben is hard at work uh, making sure you guys have the links to the videos that we're going to show you, to the stories that we're going to talk about, all that good stuff. Nice. I never remember to actually say that at the beginning of the show. Well, now you I'm did. I'm too proud of myself. And you can also check in on Get Glue if you go to... Is it geekbeat.tv forward slash glue check-in, I believe? I don't know. Somebody took it out of our notes. It's out of the notes, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what it is. Check in, because you can only do that when you're watching the show when we're live. Right. So do it. Check it in, <laughs> baby. So a uh, couple of updates for you guys. A lot of stuff happening. Lots of stuff. Uh, one, bad parking cards. The bad guys, parking cards? Yes. Are there any left? We just have a few left. Okay. We've and ordered more, but... The deal is, so you know how if you watched uh, our packing of the of the boxes, um, we were stuffing like we told you that we'll give you 250 uh, of these bad parking cards. But if we you don't buy them. count very well. But we don't count very well. So you wound up with like 350, 400, maybe 400, 400 450. Along that. I don't know, a lot. But unfortunately, when these are out and we get more in, we're going to have to actually pack in 250. That's right. Because of shipping costs. There's all kinds of problems. And, and we're going to make Pablo count them. That's right. Yes. Pablo's Pablo will be every counting single them. One. Um, the problem is, it turns out that when you want to sell massive quantities of something, <laughs> It needs to all weigh the same amount. <laughs> it turns out. Who knew? So. And uh, Amazon doesn't want to ship it for us if we don't have them. So then we have to do it all manually yep. ourselves. Anyway, point is, if you want to get a big old batch of bad parking cards, you better go now to the phone ringing. <laughs> Badparkingcards.com. Yes. It takes you right to the Amazon page where you can order one of the last batches of the big ones. After that... We'll still still be able to get them. Oh yeah, they'll still be available. There may be a gap for a few weeks while the new ones are coming in and getting boxed up, and then there'll be the little 250 pack instead yeah. of the big giant pack. Anyway, the, so the, that's the that update. Have, yeah. have shipped and they will be here next week. Callie got a dog. Actually, you got me this dog for Christmas. You got a dog his, for Christmas. His What's name is it? Zoomer. Oh, I just turned him off. You turned actually. him off. <laughs> this is Zoomer. Meet Zoomer. He's a little robotic dog. You hear that? He's so cute. Actually, he. Uh, hi, Zoomer. Hi, Zoomer. How you doing? What? Don't don't. Uh, run he's off gonna me. drive anyway. right off the table. <laughs> um, hey, Callie. Yes. I caught him trying to hump my USB hard drive. Are yeah. you getting a close up of this, Dave? <laughs> he does. He does like to uh, hump things. He he follows commands, um, so I can tell him. Hold on, hold on, Zoomer. Zoomer, play dead. Oh. Zoomer, play dead. <laughs> He'll actually work on commands, and then he, he will uh, do his own little thing if you leave him alone for a while. Nice. And uh, anyway, he's really adorable. I love my puppy, and I'm sure everybody here is annoyed at having him at work. Uh, All right. He could... <laughs> he could get a little bit annoying after a while. Yes, he could. <laughs> all right, a few other little Oops. updates. First of all, we had I had a few questions. Nice. We had a few questions. First of all, thank you to all of you guys who've gone in and signed up as patrons. Yes. We love you. It helps us continue bringing you the show. Thank you. Go to geekbeat.tv forward slash patron yes. or patrons. 
either one, it'll take you right there. You can pledge even like a dollar a month helps us keep this thing going. But for those of you who pledge at the twenty-five dollar mm -hmm. level and above, one of the one of the benefits of being at the higher pledge level is Callie and I are doing uh, monthly hangouts, uh, Google Hangout with you guys. So each month we'll just sit down and we'll just hang out and chat, chat. and talk about whatever you know. Just so we did a couple of those, yes. and someone asked. I said, "Well, if I didn't get signed up for that level beforehand, did I just miss out or what?" Right. No, nope. actually. The Hangouts that we did got recorded, and they're all in the Patreon system. Yes. So even if you were to sign up after the fact, you can go back through the archive, and you can see all the different things that we've shared. So at any time when you sign up as a patron, you can go back and, and get access to all the, stuff. all the stuff we've shared that you didn't get to see before. Yeah. So Awesome. Well, thank, thank you, you guys that. again. Uh, one Hi. more big, one more big thing that we have to talk about today. I'll just put that right there because we might need to slice something in a minute. Um, uh, last time you had something dangerous. Oh. It's Callie's birthday tomorrow! <laughs> Yay! Thank so you. Holly, Did Holly pose? Make Holly those? made these. These are her patented uh, cherry <laughs> chocolate cakes. Thank you, Holly. Uh, but we need to light your oh, uh, candles. So let me just uh, I, get that oh. going right there. <laughs> that ought to do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that ought to do it. So you can just blow that out All right. and whatnot. Thank you, everyone. Make a wish. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back, and she'll scarf that thing down during the commercial break. John P., mm. you're already drinking your verve. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get into mine too. I did. These, uh, spill these are a little awesome. Bit. Yep, this is our verb energy drink. So good drink. that you have to lick it off of you if you get it. Look, <laughs> how do you like that? Strike a nerve. Drink some burr. Nice. Okay, so you guys have seen us talking about these. These are awesome drinks. They're like energy drinks, but they're healthy energy drinks. Listen to this. Okay, this is what's in it. Vitamin A, fifty percent of your daily value. Vitamin C, five hundred percent. Vitamin D3, 250%. Vitamin E, 200%. I could do this for the next half hour, folks, nice. okay? It's got every, all these freaking vitamins and all kinds of stuff in it. It's ridiculous, and it's only 45 calories. I know. Which is a little bit more. Than your Mountain Dew Code Red. Than this. <laughs> just a little. I'm going to drink them both just to see what happens. Oh, God. <laughs> Please hey, no. You yeah. never know. You never know. So, and yes, Monty said, are they a sponsor? Yes. They Verve are. is a sponsor. So you know what you guys should do? Go to vervegeek.com and, and thank them for supporting the show. Don't just thank them. Order some, okay? Because it's good stuff. And the more you order, the more they sponsor. And the more that they sponsor, the more Geek Beat you get. You see, it's a big way, circular kind of thing. If you don't like carbonation, party. This is like a tea drink, and it is amazing. There's no carbonation. It tastes like juice. Just go bold. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to get into the gadget news it's, today. Gadget news? Actually, I thought it was no, just news. Just news. All the right. News stories of the day. The most ridiculous news story of the week yes. is uh, Google Glass related. You know Google Glass. It's the actual glasses type camera thing. Well, some guy. What uh, is that? Some guy actually had the uh, had prescription lenses attached to his Google Glass, and he went to a movie theater, the AMC 30 at East Town, Easton Town Center in Columbus, Ohio. And get Let's this. make sure that we caught that. Right. That was the AMC 30 at the Easton Town Center in Columbus, Ohio. Don't go there with Links any technology. In the, Links, in the show notes. Links in the show notes along with a Google map. So he and his wife or girlfriend or somebody, they're in the movie. They're enjoying their movie experience. His wife. His wife. And in comes... His girlfriend stays home. Right. And in come... Get this. This is unbelievable. Immigration officers. Homeland Security and immigration officers coming. So what happened was the guy was sitting there not using his Google glasses. Just watching But he was movie. just watching a movie. Some douchebag in the freaking uh, movie theater called 
the Department of Homeland Security. No, 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 no they called the the uh, our the the immigration. Who, no, the MPAA or whoever's in charge of the movie things. Ours, whatever. Okay. And um, they somehow got the immigration officers in there and Homeland Security. What this says that doesn't make any sense. What Ben put in the notes is I while, read the actual article. While he was in the movie, AMC had contacted Homeland Security Investigations, part of Immigrations and Custom Enforcement about the patron possibly taping the movie. So you know what? It's written down. That's a fact. <laughs> okay, so some douchebag. <laughs> the contacts, MPAA. Thank you, Digital Phil. Well, they're full of douchebags too. Some douchebag <laughs> contacts freaking Homeland Security on some guy sitting there watching a movie. You know what they did? Dragged his ass out of there in handcuffs, arrested him, took him to jail for hours, interrogating hour investigation, interrogating him and his wife in different rooms until finally he gave them the Google Glass and they could see it had not even been on. They're prescription lenses in it. They're just glasses. And you know what they did to make it right for him? <laughs> Give it back. They gave him a free pair of movie tickets. <laughs> Swear to God, that is a true story. Oh, well, he's going to... He's that happened go to at that the AMC, AMC 30 at Easton Town Center in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, ter meanwhile, terrorists are planning to bomb the Olympics. Uh, exactly. Right. This guy's not going to record <sighs> Captain Phillips, damn it. Oh, okay. Anyway. Speaking about being disruptive, T-Mobile is at it again. Yeah, T-Mobile is disrupting the banking market. But in a good way. Did, did I just say banking market? You did. I, I did, actually. Yeah, T-Mobile banking? Yeah, I know. They, they actually have been disrupting the entire phone industry, the, the cellular world. market, the world, uh, all year long. Yeah. And now... Why stop in 2014, they go into the banking industry. So they have said now that you can have, do your banking through them, and uh, they've opened it up. You just have to go into a T-Mobile store, and uh, you can get a, a debit card, and you can deposit cash and act like it's a real bank. Nice. Are they doing anything with Bitcoin? Yeah. <laughs> right. No Bitcoins. Why not? Get your T-Mobile Visa card and make a phone call on your T-Mobile phone. Why Very not? interesting. Verizon also, um, well, back to the actual phone market. Um, if you, we this have is an interesting. I like audience. this. I yeah. love this. This is fantastic. Um, you Five dollars global SMS, basically. I mean, you know what? What's happened in the past is uh, it would cost. Wait, is this? Hang on. Did yes. I read this correctly? Five dollars a month. Yeah. And you get world unlimited. messaging unlimited. Yes. Uh, so you, you can, can. So what happens is. Let's say you've got uh, friends or relatives in another country. A lot of times they'll charge you like 20, 25 cents for per a freaking message, yeah. per text. Imagine you go back and forth it's a really few expensive. texts with somebody, it'll crush you. But now, let's say your family lives over in Greece and you want to send them text messages, you pay five bucks a month and just go at it. Yeah. Which actually makes sense because five dollars a month is still about a billion percent profit because these are text messages people okay. they shouldn't have charged all that money let's anyway it's okay <laughs> yeah let's call homeland security all right well i'm a little pissed off about that i'm, I'm gonna let john go and uh have a little break and calm himself down maybe drink some verb Finish bold. My verb here um, <laughs> We're going to come right back and talk about some more gadgets. But before we do, we I want to know, what would you do if Homeland Security dragged your ass out of a movie theater for no good reason? That is today's question of the day. What would you do? So all you have to do is go to geekbeat.tv slash famespot and leave us a 15-second video. And you can actually wind up on the show during the commercial breaks. How yeah. awesome is that? Why go. Not? Now. Now. guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm a little more calm now that we've had a chance to have a break. Well, I, I think you might actually get uncalm now because our next story is, what is it? all about the NSA. What, what are they doing now? <laughs> so, you know how everybody's all up in arms these days about security and the NSA listening in on our conversations and all of that good, horrible stuff. Uh, well, People have been listening in on my conversations in my head for years. Yeah, we don't talk about that in public. Oh, okay. Um, so they, a bunch of geeks got together and created the Black Phone. 
Now this is an Android. Is that like a phone for really high credit worthy people? No, it is a, it's a phone to, uh, it's actually really, really secure. It's an Android based phone running private OS which is basically all encrypted. It's not tied to any uh, cell carrier, you know, any of uh, the major carriers. Hey, hey so. John, weren't you in the Marines with Private OS? Yes, right. Private OS. And so this, this phone is the most secure that you can get. Is that the picture of the sure phone? It's just black. <laughs> it's just, just a just black screen, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't here to gather assets. I'm going to have to. Fact, <laughs> This phone is, a memo. The phone is so secretive, we can't even show you a picture of it. <laughs> nice, that's funny. That is, that's, what, that's how secretive it is. We can't even show you the picture of the show right now. It's just We're not even head allowed head. to talk about it. So anyway, this phone, as secretive as it is, um, is uh, available for you to get and to use and to stay secure. You think that if I stick a Verizon SIM in it, it'll even work? I haven't actually seen any information about That's because that. it's so secretive, we can't <laughs> even give you the information. In fact, we're probably going to be executed just because tell we told you about this black phone. You can't even make a phone call on that thing. I know. <laughs> All right, now it's time for you to calm down a little bit. And I like this next towards one. Towards the future. I like this one a lot. Because it came from MIT. Oh, God. Not Harvard. Here we go. Anyway, <laughs> some geeks over at MIT developed a new kind of a, let's call it a plastic film that you uh, stick on your glass and it turns it into a transparent monitor. How awesome is that? They've been looking for ways to make transparent displays cheaper and more accessible and they found it. Well, now the way they did it is they use uh, color nanoparticles in the transparent film and I guess they apply some uh, current to it, mm -hmm. and bang, it lights up. So just imagine what you could do with this. You yes. could like put this on the inside of car windows. You know, you know, cars have heads-up displays. Yeah. They use LEDs that kind of project up Upwards. onto the screen. Now you could put this film on the window, and you could turn the entire inside of your window into a movie theater watching experience while you're driving down the road. It would be awesome. And the next story. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, well, you know uh, Dr. Dre, right? Oh, I know him personally. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Dre is... He, I just call him made, Dre. He made... Well, I, I have to call him Dr. Sometimes I call him Dre Dre. Dre Dre, really? Mm. He created the Beats headphones, right? Uh, well, not him alone, but... I don't know where he created it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so he, he made the Beats headphones, and he decided that he and his team would launch a Spotify Pandora-like service. Well, that launched this week, and then it quickly unlaunched. A streaming media service? Yes. Was launched and then retracted. Exactly. Why this is news, I am not sure. But so it, you're it's telling me it's gone. Dr. Dre, and well, he's, he's famous, so can we, get we it? talk about it. Can I get it now? No, no. They, they are trying to fix some issues. So if you were excited about this service, you, Word. I would probably stay away until they fix those issues. Especially Just because you can't get it. A word of caution. Okay, nice. Okay. Moving I, I on. wouldn't even... Anyway. Next story. This story I like just because it uses the word... Zing! Nice. <laughs> Datzing. Yep. Uh, Datzing is a... Well, we've talked about iBeacon before. Yeah, what is it? Well, iBeacon is a way to give is you like it's an indoor location system. So, like GPS is all outdoors, right? But when you go indoors, you can't really map. Does it smell that. good? No, it's not bacon. Oh, iBeacon, not bacon. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so, this is a system that'll allow you to kind of track inside, indoors, and you could do all sorts of stuff, not just like GPS mapping. Oh, yeah, like if you go to a mall and you're in one and you're in one place and you want to look up another place, you're like, how do I get there? Then maybe it would help you navigate through the mall right. and get to the other place. And stores can use them. IKEA. Man, you need one if you go to Ikea. Those places are insane. <laughs> That'd be funny, yeah. Or you know where else you need them? Yeah. In uh, the casinos in Las Vegas. Oh, my, they oh turn my those goodness, They turn those things into yes. mazes on purpose. Holy 
But anyway. That would be awesome. So that's the iBeacon. I, iBeacon launched a, a couple months ago, and it's all iPhone based. It's all iOS based, and you have to have some hardware. And, and if everything. you're on Android, well, screw you. Now, not screw you, because Datsing launched. Oh. And it is platform agnostic. And uh, you basically can download this app and start to, to begin to use it. And the more people that use it, obviously, great. You can turn old devices, like old phones that have Bluetooth, into a beacon, if you will. Huh. So go check it out. What, like Follow you just the show leave your notes. Old, you just leave your old devices laying around, you know, like breadcrumbs or something? I do. Oh, okay. Hey, John, didn't you used to so drive cool. a Datsing? Yeah, yeah, I think I did have a Datsun B210. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so go to geekbeat.tv slash live to what? Two, Bam! 222, is that what it says? 122. Oh, we're not 222. to 222 yet? You need to remember what time zone you're in I'm when you drive older, around I in your can't. little DeLorean yeah, okay, sorry. thing with Steve. Steve. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break. After but these messages. We'll but be before we go, please don't forget, we need to know what the heck would you would do if you were dragged out of a movie theater by Homeland Security for no reason at all. Go to geekbeat.tv slash geekbeat.tv slash famespot. I couldn't remember if I said the dot TV. I really am getting old. Jeez. Mm. Back to Geek Be Live. How We're are you? We're so glad you joined us yet again today. Thank you. And you look smashing. You're By so, the way, you're such a charmer, John. It's that time of the day when we check in with the live folks who are watching the show live to find out where in the world are you watching from. So, oh, guys, yes, bring Go ahead. the pain. Where are you watching the show from? <laughs> Type it in. And are have, you ready to do this? I am ready. You know, we have people from all over the world. Example, Liverpool, go. New York. Lancaster. Lancashire. Austin, Texas. Bournemouth, Bournemouth UK. UK. Stonewalk Preserve, Venice, Florida. St. George, Utah. Portugal. Nice. Dubuque. Uh, Coventry, UK. Silkborg in Denmark. Netherlands. Uh, Finland. Mr. Jiggs is outside Beantown. Taishan, China. Victoria, B.C., Koblenz, Germany, Amatra, Finland, Nash, Vegas, Tennessee. Nice. Austin, Austin, Calgary. Smoggy Lake, Salt Lake City. Silkborg, Den Denmark. I think I already said that. Pittsburgh, just outside of Earth. Oh, on the outside of Earth. Nice. San Antonio, Texas, Plano, Texas, Falls Church, Virginia, Scotland, U.K., Tallahassee, Florida, Israel, Israel Homestead. Homestead, Florida, uh, Dallas. Coventry, we saw that one. Clarksville, Tennessee, Frisco, Wichita Falls, Atlanta, Georgia. Orville, Ohio, Louisville, Texas, Gothenburg, Sweden. We've got Somerville, another one New Jersey, in Israel. Milky Way. Stockton, California, Dallas, State of Confusion. Gardner, Kansas, Sweden, Paducah, Kentucky, uh, Friesen in Louisiana. Baltimore, Maryland, or as we say, Balmer. <laughs> Balmer, Maryland. The moon. Mike DK is on the moon. Hopedale, Mass. Nimrod is in Israel. Yes, that's what I said earlier. Brick Terminator, USA, North Carolina. Uh, our house, Denmark, uh, San Jose, California, Glen Heights, Linkoberg, Linkoping, Sweden. Did you already say that one? Uh, Jani is in Robotlandia. Nice. Toronto-ish, Canada, Hamburg, Germany, Hopkinton, New Hampshire. Uh, and the list probably North Carolina. continues. But we can't sit here going on all day ooh, long. Ooh. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Wow. Nice. Wow. Awesome. Okay, guys, Thank Fort you guys Mitchell, so Kentucky, much we can keep going. For Thanks. staying up of all hours of the, year, of the year. For watching everywhere around the globe. Now it is time for us to move on to science. Actually, it's time to, for us to go outside of the globe. Oh. <laughs> um, so, Ceres, I think I'm saying that right, uh, Ceres? Ceres. Ceres. Oh, yeah, Ceres. That's right. I asked Peterson earlier how to say it, and he told me, and then I forgot. Uh, I'm getting old. Ceres. Ceres is in the asteroid belt, right? It is the uh, it's, it's it's a dwarf planet, 
Well, it turns out they, like they discovered. Them yeah, we call them little right. planets. <laughs> the little ones. Um, so it turns out they may actually have enough water or more water than we do here on Fresh Earth. Water. Fresh water. Fresh water. And so here's what I'm thinking. Take a so little trip. We take a, we t we send a team out there. Bottle that stuff up. No, no, oh, no, 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 okay. no, no. This is the perfect place we need to go to escape when Earth is no longer any good. When Earth turns into another asteroid belt? Exactly. So we just send out a team, melt all the ice, because right now it's frozen. So Have a giant swimming pool. Out. Exactly. And then we go live there. Okay, sounds good to me. Skynet, what do you think? Skynet will follow. Sounds I'm good sure. to me. Okay, well, on this next story, you are going to be amazed Am by I? what your eyes see. It's going to blow your mind because you know there is a... Uh, there is a little-known uh, phenomenon called ball lightning. And this is lightning. What, it's lightning that comes in a ball. Okay. And people knew about it, but no one's ever caught it on video Isn't before. That a superhero thing. Right. And what happened was uh, some Chinese researcher guys uh, accidentally caught it. Would you look at this amazing video? Let's That's see. it. Isn't um, that blowing your mind? Uh, you, yes, you know it is. That is yeah. blowing your mind. I, I, so blown that I can't even talk. That is ball lightning in action. It's breathtaking. Nice. I don't know. These things make their ways around the internet. <laughs> My old Sony Trinitron, when it's, you turned it off, it would Yeah, that's kind of like, yeah, kind of kind of what happened when I turned my TV off to. So, I don't know. I don't know why everybody got so excited about this, but uh, apparently the, you know, one of these lightning ball strikes can last for like 2 seconds. It's just nobody's ever caught it on film before, so that was Accident, accidentally captured accidents and now happen and then they go viral on YouTube. To All me, right. I kind of thought the video looked a little bit like the uh, the old uh, uh, Bigfoot video where he's walking and it's like, was that really Bigfoot? How do I know that was ball lightning? I don't know. Because you've never seen it before. But my mind was blown and that was what was important. <laughs> well, I was blown away at this next story. Yeah. Actually, Janie sent it in. So thanks for that. A woman named Lene Rainville, or Lene Rainville, she's from Canada. And uh, she's 51 years old. Well, she spent, I don't know how long, but a long time turning her basement at her house into a basic, well, into the Enterprise. And she's, she's nice. turned it sure every that's, Star sure Trek. Nice. Like that? <laughs> right. uh, she made custom furniture. She uh, made the bathroom. Look at that bathroom. The bathroom it looks like Mr. Spock's quarters. Yes. And, uh, and it cost she her... spent thirty thousand dollars building Actually, that. You spent way more renovating your house. I did, right? and so I didn't even get a I didn't get an didn't enterprise get... bridge out of it. Uh, seriously, Holly? you could have done way better, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she said I wouldn't have complained. Nice. <laughs> uh, what's also pretty cool is, you know, a lot of people do those uh, model airplanes mm -hmm. or model whatever. Um, this one guy actually created a model of the Boeing 777. Yeah, why not? But his name is I got Luca. a little spare time. I think I'll take a big stack of paper and turn it into a 777. Mm, they didn't take a stack of paper. I know it was manila folders manila or something. Manila envelopes. Manila envelopes? He made this entirely out of manila envelopes. Show us, Dave. Now, look at that. That's awesome. I know at first you were thinking, what is the inside of that? Uh, right. what is, what's so special about the inside of this airplane? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you saw tweezers coming in with some little mi miniature paper seats. And uh, I don't know what to tell you. How awesome is that? This is a guy some with a little more free, free time on his hands. <laughs> Does it fly? Than no, I it have. doesn't fly. Does it not, does not fly. I think that it could fly if you soaked it in jet fuel and lit it on nice. fire and just would only do it once. <laughs> just once. Yeah, can we get a little more leg room in there? Because right. I'm feeling a little cramped just looking at it. <laughs> no, but that is awesome. Imagine the uh, time and attention to detail it took to do that and the skill. Yeah. I couldn't impressive. do that no matter how much time you gave me. Ooh, you got to be patient. It's like building a ship in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It is uh, commercial time. 
We are going to take a quick break and come back and talk about robots. Oh, brother. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. It's the time of the show every week that I'm always dreading when we learn new ways that our technology <laughs> is going to kill us. Care of Hey, Callie I Davis. want you to shut your mouth because your it is my birthday and I can talk about robots if I want to. <laughs> That's right, you can. Right? All right. <laughs> Actually, you you know the little bits kit, right? Yeah, a little and bits. All of the other subsequent little, little kits that um, I've been showing you guys over the past year that uh, are making robotics simpler and easier for younger kids to adapt to. Yeah. Um, so Easy Robots have actually come out with a new kit. Um, and you can get those in Thailand too. Right. <laughs> so the kit is actually, um, they're snapped together. So, so basically you assemble the robots by snapping the pieces like together. Legos? Kind of like Legos. And it makes it really easy things, you just follow the instructions. and. I think it's really awesome. Take a look at how how these are oh, the God, end result, right? That's the hexapod. It goes for three eighty nine, which is not bad for you look know at, a look at a that hexapod. thing. It, yeah, it's awesome. That thing is going to climb up on you and stab you in the head with all those pointy <laughs> legs while you're asleep. <laughs> right. Um, and this is what we're teaching our children. <laughs> look, that's a laser beam. It put he <laughs> mounted a laser. Oh look, look, it's. Uh, I mean, it's actually pointing its little fangy legs right at you, like practice. And we are teaching the children. Shh. Roe V will cost two hundred and forty-nine dollars. It's a tank, um, and then of course it is right. And then uh, if you want like a humanoid-looking one, that's four sixty-nine. So the more expensive of, of the three, mm -hmm. but uh, it's running a hundred and twenty megahertz ARM Cortex M3 controller. They have Bluetooth uh, or Wi-Fi connections, depending on which one you get. And uh, you just have a program on the computer that you kind of control them with. And uh, I think they even have an app, if I remember correctly. So is pretty company, cool new company in Calgary, Alberta. Is that new company called Skynet? No. <laughs> okay. No. What else you got? Actually, this one I think you're really going to like. <sighs> I really like, do you mean that I'm really going to like it, or you mean I'm really going to hate it? I think you're really going to like it, actually. So okay. you know those um, industrial arm, robotic arms that they use in like uh, warehouses? The ones that could just crush people with yes. the one single blow? Yes. Yeah, I know those very well. <laughs> well, you arm is a new Kickstarter project that has blown, they only asked for $5,000, they're already like way, way, way past it. Uh -huh. um, they're taking that idea of the large industrial arms and making it into like a little mount uh, for your a computer desk uh, monitor stand. So you can now get Wait, this. Wait, you can have a giant robotic version. arm that you mount your computer on? Yes. Just, I mean, like this arm can lift like tons and you're going to put a 20 pound computer on it? Well, it's a miniature version. Oh, okay. It's a miniature so version. it's oh, not going to be. Is that able it? To, yeah. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> And um, so, but then you can have it on your desk and you can, uh, oh wait, so wait, you know he's what? not attached. He didn't attach the monitor. I saw one picture where it was, had a monitor attached to it and it was just sitting on the desk. Okay. But then you can do all this other stuff too and By the way, like when use I was, it when on I was your a desk. Kid, we had a little caterpillar, little backhoe things that had handles and you would just, you could do the exact same thing as that, but you would actually move your arms well, and you would move it back and forth. Why would you do that? Yeah, I know. I don't know why John, you do that. John, when I was a kid, I, I reached over and picked the cups up with my hands. Yeah, yeah. What? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we even moved, we even moved and, cups with our hands. And I was a lot faster than that thing. Yeah. So. But then you had to do work. Uh, we did. We did work. Uh, and this does it for you. We also went outside. I don't know. I see that guy's we hand going crazy over there. We played Cowboys and Indians. There. But that's <laughs> not that politically correct anymore. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. <sighs> Speaking of cool. You're going to try and tell me that you have cooler stuff. It is planes, trains, and automobiles time. Thank you. And yes, I am going to tell you I have cooler stuff. Starting with 
what you do when you're buried with snow. Shovel. You break out the snow plow. Yes. Or if you're lazy. Actually, you just sit inside with a hot cup of cocoa. Or That's if you're lazy and you're a geek, you break out your one eighth sized Jeep RC control vehicle, you mount a snow plow on the front of it, and you sit inside and plow your snow like this. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That is, awesome. that is a remote control. The guy, is, this thing. the guy is sitting inside by his fireplace, oh my God. driving his little RC controlled snowplow car. But he's only gonna like he's gonna get buried by the snow. It's so tiny. And no, it is all, it is not. Relative. You just gotta start when it <laughs> yeah. starts snowing and don't stop. So the storm that's happening right now is. It's nothing. This thing could take it on. No, I don't. Andrew so. Dykiel built this on an Axial SCX-10, which is a one-tenth scale RC version of a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And of course, he put a one-tenth scale snowplow on it. And that's it. The Jeep is sold for about 380 bucks, 80 bucks for the snowplow. Or you could just 20 bucks for the mount. A snow plow. Basically, do it yourself. I mean, you were talking. You were just talking about how you should, how you know, people don't do anything these days. And that look at what you're telling me. That doesn't apply to manly RC control vehicles like this. Okay, you gotta get. I, I mean, come on. What was I? Thinking? Somebody had to build that thing. Then they had to carry it out there and that put it down. Cool. They right. have to actually manipulate the remote of control. Course. It's it's. It's it's uh -huh. a it's a very good. It only costs five hundred bucks, folks. You should everybody should have <laughs> Every, one if you live with even snow. In, especially in Texas. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. The next little project we've got to share with you guys is called the Arrow. Okay, like um, isn't that the TV service? Oh. oh. Don't do that. You know what happened last week when I you pointed anything out. at my face? I shot your eye out. Yes. I'm surprised Dave doesn't have a little animated gift yeah, to show Yeah, why didn't you that. get that, But Dave? anyway, uh, the Arrow I'm was... Here. The Arrow is a new torpedo-like uh, electric vehicle wow, concept. Wow, look okay? at that fancy thing. That's right. Looks like a Can-Am. Now, what's awesome about it is, first of all, it's got a 30 kilowatt motor in the rear of the vehicle. It's got it's a two seater, mm. and they're seated uh, like in tandem, like in a like in a cockpit of a of a of a jet airplane or something. Yeah. Okay, and this little sucker, it's four wheels. It's designed to uh, it's designed to go three hundred and seventy miles <sighs> using lithium air batteries. Wow, how badass is that? That's pretty how cool. How fast does it go? Uh, actually, I don't know how fast it goes. Five miles an hour takes a month. It goes 327 miles an hour, Dave. Was that okay with you? <laughs> so you'll, you'll be there in an hour. That's right. And uh, so the 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 question is whether they're going to be able to take this from kind of concept into reality. But hmm. from from my perspective, I think what's cool is a there's one they built it. Okay. Now the question is. Who's going to get that to market? It could be a motorcycle manufacturer like Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki. It could be a new startup company like this. It could be Ford yeah. or Toyota or somebody. But if, if they were to get these out to market in a reasonable price, I think people would buy them in droves, maybe not to replace their car, uh, I'm but sorry, to I'm augment. I'm seeing at Holly Pose shaking her head no she's, at the moment. Like, no. Hey, John. I, I don't think that that's going to be in I, your John, garage. I, is, this, I, is this one of those things where you can I, actually like, just have, a, have a, a motorcycle license to drive it? Probably just a normal car license. Huh. Anyway, Pretty Ken's cool. giving us the old... All movie. right. Cut. Uh, well, because we have unboxings uh, to we do. do. We so do. we're going to take a quick break, get the boxes ready, and we'll be right back. Before we go, what are they supposed to do at the break? They're you supposed to tell us what. You guys need to make sure that you tell John, and so he's not uh, ranting alone, what you would do if the uh, the Homeland Security people came in, and ripped you out of the movie you're watching, and interrogated you for three freaking hours. 
I'd tell you what I do, but this is a family friendly show and I'm not allowed to. So you guys go ahead, go on to geekbeat.tv forward slash fame spot. I'm not as good at ranting as you And go are. at it. Sorry. You guys try. Are you? I love unboxings. Don't well, you guys like unboxings? I think you especially like unboxings on birthday unboxing day. <laughs> because People made a bigger deal out of it than I did intended. I, uh, did I mention that uh, tomorrow's Callie's birthday? <laughs> tomorrow's Callie's birthday. So you guys get on get on the Twitter. No, get no, on the Twitter no, and be no, like at no, Callie no, Lewis. No, don't do that. Happy birthday oh, to don't you. Don't do that. Dot dot dot. Then do box. another <laughs> at Callie Lewis. Happy birthday to you. Dot dot dot. At Stop Callie it. Lewis. Happy birthday, dear Dave, Callie. Can you hear his mic, please. Hey, everybody. Happy needs, birthday to you. Thank everybody you. needs to tweet her a coffee. Oh yeah. So Tweet me some speaking coffee. of happy birthdays, <laughs> um, I'm gonna deliver this to you as if I were taking credit for it, even though Lynn is the one who bought it and brought it here. But Lynn, thank uh, you. Look at this. this, this I don't even know fancy. what is this. It says Cake Ball. It says the, the Cake Ball can Company. Can you see that? Can you see that? The Cake Ball Company. Now Holly makes exceptional cake balls. Oh, Holly makes the so best. So the question cake balls. will be: Are the Cake Ball Company cake balls? We're, I feel wrong saying what, that word. What is word. the one cake ball like to <laughs> cake ball to rule them all? Right. Are they blue? All I can it's think of right now. It's time to have a ball, is what this says. All I can think of right now <laughs> is South Park. <laughs> oh no no no! Hey everybody, no, have you no, seen no, my no, balls? No, They're no, big no. and salty and brown. Okay, we're moving on. Look how beautiful these look. If you ever need a big, pick me up. Just put my balls in your mouth. Oh, oh, hey. oh, 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 Lynn, you know me well. These are white chocolate cake balls. I love me some white chocolate. And look, it has like crystals on there. Talk about shaft. Awesome. Thank you. They smell delicious. <laughs> they do. They do. Okay. That is not all. Uh, indeed, um, you have many, many things oh. here. Let's see. Chris Philby sent you a card. We can't read all these cards. We don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Chris Philby sent you a card. Ricardo Garza sent you a card. Nice. Uh, BJR, Ben from the D to the B to the U right. to the Q, whatever. Dubuque, Iowa sent you a card. Wow, guys. Bruce Reinhardt sent you wow. a card. Wow. And there are more, I'm sure of it. But Thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. And what's Also, about? this came from Mr. Jason Wynn. Okay. Came priority Jaybird. mail. What is in there? Uh, I don't know. I don't open your packages. <laughs> Let's see here. What did you get? Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Bang. Big Bang Theory. I mean, Big Bang. The theory. sixth and seventh season. Cool. I'm sorry, fifth and sixth season. Nice. That is because oh, he says that um, I because I haven't watched it in a while because. I cut the cable a long time ago, so Big Bang Theory is not actually on like Netflix or Hulu Plus or any of those that I watch. So you just have to bootleg so, it. I mean, buy the DVD. Right. Thank you, Jason. That, nice. was, very, that was very, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, some other unboxings to do. So the question yes. is, you want small, medium, large, or flat? Flat. Oh, Sounds interesting. Wow, flat. Okay, flat it is. This package came from FedEx. Yay, thank you, FedEx. Or via FedEx. Okay, let's see what it is. All right. What do we got in package oh, number one? Oh, yeah. The Nomad. All right. Okay, what it is looks like a nomad? piece of yes, it, it looks does. like a pa piece of paper. Oh, wow. Ah. Look at this. This is actually the tiniest, thinnest little charger. It is the Nomad Charge Card. And uh, it is the world's most portable USB cable. It's 2.5 millimeters thick. It has a flexible link and a standard USB port. And you know what's cool about this one? That little hook right there is to go on your keychain. Yes. So this is, so you can have a little lightning, a lightning connector charger cable uh, that you literally keep on your keychain. So whenever your battery is a little low on your iOS device, you can be like, ah, 
Yep. I forgot my cape. No, I didn't. It's right on my keychain. <laughs> and Isn't you, that cool? you're definitely going to want to keep it on there because uh, otherwise you might lose it. And look how flexible it is. I, know. I mean, you can't break it. It's awesome. We need like very, very cool. We need a bunch of these. And you know what else we need? We need a micro USB version of it, which I think they're coming out with. It says Nomad. Um, Something.com. I can't quite read Hello Nomad.com. Oh, hello Nomad.com. Did you really think that that said Nomad Something.com? Yeah, as that's opposed what I to thought. Hel hello Nomad.com. Go get yourself, like, oh, you'd probably be fine with a dozen of these. Right. The charge key. Okay. Cool. Very and send cool. me some too. And, and all of a sudden she'll start leaving her keys at home. Oh. Right. That's right. Okay, <laughs> exactly. now, small, medium, or large? Small. Small it is. I'm going smallest to largest today. Okay, why am I getting to open everything? You wow. shouldn't because that's actually to me. That's addressed right. to Here me. You, go. you open it then. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. This one oh, came it's from, from Japan. Hong Kong. Oh. No, it's from Hong Kong. Oh, it's Japan. <laughs> it's, it, it came via Hong Kong, probably, oh. I don't know, from Japan. This. Tokyo Flash? I have been waiting for this. This oh. is from Tokyo Flash Japan. Mm -hmm. You know what they do? Watches. Oh, they do watches. And this is a watch watches. they sent me to check out because it's uber geeky. Let's see it. How is it geeky? What's what's it got? Well, you're about to find out. This is the Wow, look at that packaging. Kisai, it's like all kisai. And stuff. Let's see here. And we're getting in here, and we're getting in here. Okay. Got the black. And bingo! Oh, there. there it is. Wow. So it's got kind of a carbon fibery looking leather uh, thing. But what's uh, interesting, and you guys, I'll have to uh, figure out how to get the battery going on it, in, on it first. But huh. the, uh, the, oh yeah, show that, here. show that. What this thing does is, it, it can zoom show in, the time, it can show the time in a normal kind of fashion, or it can give you these artistic -y looking things that if you know how to read it properly, you can read it and no one else can read the time from That's your watch. That's really cool. Why, I mean, because it's such a secret. Yeah, why would I the want time. you to see, I mean, I don't want you to know what time it right. is. Right. <laughs> oh wow, that is actually, uh, that was already doing it, look at that. Oh wow. So That's cool. I'm going to have to play with it, and then I'll let you guys know. But how awesome is that? It's pretty cool looking. All right. Pretty cool looking. So it's just going to flash 12 the whole time? Right, because <laughs> I won't be able to work it like it was a VCR. Okay, now right. you can get medium. medium. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, yay, 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 yay. I'm so excited about these. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Ah. So. We knew this was this, coming. Yes, yes. Um, for the S4. For this those is... of you who happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S4, just get your Oops. wallet out right now. Yeah, this is really cool. All right. So this is like a camera case. It's a case. It's a two-piece system. A phone system. It's a case. But. Uh, Do you need a knife? Is it all taped together? Oh, yeah, yeah. It is. yeah, it is. Don't cut me. Does it, does it turn it into the Galaxy camera? It basically, it basically does. It basically does turn your phone Way into a Galaxy camera. Way to spoiler it, Dave. If I this is a two-part system. So imagine this. You slap this case uh, onto your phone. On your phone. Okay. And this is what the, the back looks like. You've got uh, your camera lens hole right there. And does this That's move? the LED. No, that does not move. Because that this attaches to Attaches it. on. Look at this that little thing beauty. That is amazing. Okay. This has multiple lenses on it, including a fisheye lens, a macro lens. We've got circular polarizer. That's this one. Circular. So a polarizer Wide is angle. what you use outdoors in like bright light to make the, instead of the sky being all blown out, mm -hmm. it'll keep it blue and nice. And you've got macro and fisheye. So you take this bad boy and you like stick it on here. Let me see. Oh, you line up. This is like those old 1950s yeah. uh, television. Yes, you line that up. Okay, so now we got that there. So your camera, your camera, your phone will be there, and then you just turn this and you rotate it into How the awesome lens that? that you want to take the pictures with, I, and it I locks think that's in place. So cool. How much is this? You guys tell. Let us know. It's 
from and Stylus. I it's think called the Revolver if, Lens. If I recall, the lens itself is around 60 bucks, and then the the little hand handheld. What little what pouch? That door? What's that for? Um, I, I I forgot, but I think it's a foldable uh, kickstand. No, oh yeah, you can use that as a kickstand, right? But also, it's got a place where you can put like a little um, wrist strap, and also, if you look right here at the top corner, right there and over here, there are also little hook things, so you could wear this around your neck, like uh. you could hang it like a little, <laughs> like a camera, like yeah, a real yeah, camera. Yeah. You could hang it around your neck. Um, and cool. so anyway, th but the, what's cool is this case is specifically made for the S4. They're going to make these for other phones yeah. in the future, so you don't have to throw away your lens. You could take your lens off this one and put it, you know, yeah. just change that out for other phones. Very, very cool. Very cool. All right, what else? One more. One last box, and this one is almost certainly from, for you because this is from Boca Java. Boca Java. Java means coffee. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, what do we have? What do you have? I gotta put my watch oh. on while you're doing that. What do we that have? That's funny. Maple bacon morning. I tweeted about this a oh long my time God. ago. This is maple bacon coffee it, from Campy. I'm not Thank making you, a Campy. joke. It smells like bacon. It, it does. It smells like. Uh, it smells like honey and bacon. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Campy. That is so sweet. Will you I actually can't wait drink to that? Drink it. I, of course, I will. Okay, what? I'm what going to. Uh, I'm going to put my watch on. Oh, I see All the right. TV went to sleep yeah. uh, behind. I guess us. we've been going too long. I guess going it's time to uh, wrap it up. Wrap it up and let you guys go. There we go. I'm going to just get John... all the way, yeah, exactly. all the way up my That'd arm awesome. here. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us each and every week. We appreciate it. We do indeed. And stay with us during the week by following along on Google+. Plus. She's google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. She's also on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis. <laughs> He's twitter.com slash John Pose. And on Google, google.com slash John P. Slash, uh, sorry. Slash plus John P. I was the too plus. much is right there, baby. So you guys stick with us and we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye. guys.